Hello everyone, let's look at the steps to download the Tiny11 ISO for Windows 11 version 25H2. Although version 25H2 is not due until later in 2025, it is possible to create a custom ISO file using the Tiny11 Builder, which is a script designed to customize and streamline the installation of the operating system. The tool allows you to remove most of the default apps from the operating system and lower end hardware, and you can install version 25H2 on, on unsupported hardware and using a local account. It is important to know that in the past you were able to download the Tiny ISO directly, however, the developer has created a script to make it more transparent about what's going on in the background when the ISO is created. First, we need to get the Windows 11 version 25 H2 installation files. And at the time of this recording, the only way that we can do that is by downloading the ISO file from the UUP dump website. So we know that currently version 25 H2 is in the dev channel. So we need to go to that page and then we need to download the latest build available. So here you need to select the preview for your platform. For traditional PCs, you have to download the x64. Now, if you have a Copilot Plus PC or a computer that has an ARM processor, you have to use the ARM64 option. Choose installation language and click next. Then choose the editions of Windows that you want to install with that ISO. I'm just going to choose Windows Pro and then we're going to go to the next step. Then we need to use the default settings and make sure that the include updates option is selected. That's who is going to make the ISO version 25 H2. And that's also going to be the reason why the process to create that ISO will take close to an hour because of all the files that needs to be processed to be added to the ISO file. Now we're going to save this. Now we're going to open the folder where we extract the files. Going to select the zip file and then we're going to click the extract button. Usually to avoid issues during this process, you want to make sure that you use a short name for the folder where you're extracting the files and make sure there is no space on that folder name. So I'm just going to name this 25H2 and this is the path where I'm going to extract the files. Now you will see a bunch of files here. What we need to do is just to right click the UUP download windows.cmd script. And then we're going to select the run as administrator option. Click on more info and click the run anyway button. Now in here, we're just going to type once. And now the script is going to download all the files and create a version 25H2 ISO file that we're going to be using with the Tiny11 Builder script to create a custom installation media. I said it before, but I'm going to say it again. This process is going to take close to an hour and even more depending on your internet connection and the hardware on your computer. And the reason is because the script has to apply all the updates necessary to convert the ISO into version 25H2. Now, the only way to avoid this it's just to wait until Microsoft releases the official ISO file for version 25H2. Now, while the script is downloading the operating system, we're going to go to this GitHub page. And from here, we're going to download the latest script for Tiny11. So in here, we're just going to click the latest version and we're going to save it to the computer. Now open the location where you saved the script. We're going to select it and then we're going to click this track button. And then we're going to track the files. Now we're going to browse the main folder. And in here, you're going to find two different scripts, one called Tiny11 Maker and the other one, Tiny Core Maker. Now, if we run the Tiny Maker script, then the tool is going to create a custom ISO file for Windows 11 version 25 H2 that removes all these applications. Now, if you choose to use the Tiny Core Maker, then the tool is going to remove all the default apps plus the Windows Component Store, Windows Defender. Actually, it's only disabled, but you can enable it back. And it is also going to disable Windows Update and the Windows Recovery Environment. Now, after the UUP dump script has finished downloading the files for version 25H2 and it has created the ISO file, you're going to end up with a file like this. And then what we need to do is just to mount that ISO by right clicking the file and selecting the mount option. If you don't see the mount option, go to open with and then select Windows Explorer. Now, once the ISO file has been mounted on the system, make sure to note the right letter, in this case, E. You can see it right here and right here. Now we're going to open PowerShell as an administrator and I'm going to use a terminal. Now 
Now on PowerShell, we're going to run this command to make sure that the script can run on the system. And then we're going to type this command to start the script. Note that we're using the ampersand, the path for the script and the actual name of the script. Press enter, press R, press enter. Now specify the drive letter for the mounted ISO, in my case E, and press enter. Now confirm the index number for the edition of Windows that you want to use to create that tiny ISO image. Since we're using a custom ISO also, we only have one index number. So I'm going to type one and then press enter. And now the Tiny11 script is going to process that ISO to create a new custom ISO file for Windows 11 version 25H2. This can also take some time. I just wanted to know for transparency that I previously downloaded the ISO file for Windows 11 and that's what we're using, but the script is still working on the background. Now, after about an hour, the Tiny11 script finished creating the new ISO file. You only need just to press enter to perform the cleanup. And then the tool is going to create a system log, which you can find right here. So we can open this using the run command, pasting the path and the file name. And in here we can see the whole process that the script has completed. Now, the location for the ISO is going to be on the folder where you extracted the files and it's right here and that is all there is to it now you can mount it to a virtual machine to install the operating system or you can create a bootable media with different tools such as Rufus to install version 25 h2 using this custom configuration of the operating system now remember to leave your comments like the video share it subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet and i just hope this video was informative for you and i would like to thank you for viewing